As you can see right now, I'm a little more tactical looking than I usually am in my videos. Uh, there's a reason for that. Because tonight I want to talk about a topic that people ask me questions about all the time, and that's body armor. Do I think most people should have body armor? Now, this might come as a surprise to a lot of people that know that I'm not the most tactical person in the world, but I do think people should own body armor. And not just because the government's already tried to ban it once. And let's not even get into the topic about how bad it is when your government starts to take away defensive capabilities of its citizenry. Let's not even go into that right now. Let's just talk about the reasons why I think you should have body armor. Now, any single person can only have so much offensive capability when they're out roaming around. So a lot of times it comes down to the old proverb that sometimes the best offense is a good defense. And body armor is that good defense. It gives you that extra edge if you ever come into confrontation with someone that's as prepared as you are offensively. If during a time of natural disaster or civil unrest, if I have to be outside doing something, something like this can make all the difference. Put on a vest like this, throw on something over top of it, and this can be the defensive difference between you and someone else that would do you harm. This could give you the edge of survival. I don't just blow all my money on offensive capabilities. I do believe in having a good defense. And this is one of the best defenses that you can have for not that much money. You can put together an outfit like this for less than what you'd pay for a Glock. Now this is just a simple plate carrier from AR500 Armor. It's not really expensive. It's set up for front, back plates, and side plates. And then you can buy whichever plates you want to put in it. I'll put a link in my description of my video down here below to the website where you can go look at all the stuff, look at the specifications, because it'll tell you way more than I could ever tell you about it. Now, a lot of people will ask me, well, should I just buy soft body armor or should I buy a plate carrier? What should I buy? Now, I recommend a plate carrier. And there's a reason I recommend getting the plate carrier. Because with the plate carrier, you can do like I do. You can have soft body armor in it. Like right now, I have soft body armor in this. It makes it very comfortable. Uh, I just bought these regular like 10 by 12 soft body panels and I have side panels also in this. And it makes the vest really comfortable. I mean, I can wear it anytime, anywhere. When I first got this vest, I wore it around all day, could wear it all day with the soft body armor and be very comfortable in it. It's really not that bad to wear this around all the time with the soft body armor. I've also got the hard armor for this, the front and back plates, the side plates. Now, these are the curved plates. The curved plates are much more comfortable. Definitely get the curved plates if you ask me. So like I say, if I ever have to go outside in a bad situation and there's a chance someone's going to come up to me and try to jack me with a handgun, etc., this can be just underneath the jacket. No one would even see it. It's comfortable, won't impede my movement or my speed, and I can have that extra advantage over someone that I might come into confrontation with. And then if I ever have to hunker down with a rifle and defend myself and defend my property, I put the hard plates in it and I've got a better defense. Now with the hard plates in it, it's not comfortable and it really does slow you down. You don't want to wear it very long. When I put the hard plates in it that day, I wore it for about a half an hour and that was more than enough. But if you're in a stationary position, you're using a rifle to defend yourself, someone's shooting back at you, the hard plates are what you're going to want to have in. So the plate carrier just gives you more options. It gives you the soft option that's more comfortable. You can still move around quickly, but it gives you that extra layer of defense. And the hard option gives you that extra defense if you're ever stationary and you're fighting it out. So I think body armor is something everyone should have. If you're someone that plans for bad situations, natural disaster, looting, etc., and you don't think about your defensive capabilities as much as you do your offensive capabilities, you're doing yourself a disservice. And soft body armor, plate carriers like this, that's one of the easiest things you can do to plan for your defensive capabilities. It's not that expensive and it's easy to obtain. At least it's easy to obtain now before the government bans it all. So, you know, they haven't been able to manage to do it yet. The first attempt didn't go anywhere, but you can bet there's probably going to be other attempts in the future. And like I say, that worries me when a government starts to take away my defensive capabilities. So I want to have mine now. So yes, in the end, I think being tactical or even tactical in this situation by having body armor is a good idea. It's not only not crazy, it's just a really good idea. Because like I said, sometimes the best offense is having a good defense. Quick little PS here, another reason to buy body armor is because it comes with a coat hanger that you could literally beat somebody to death with.